respect failure as much as you respect success in fact fear people who have not failed they are too they are too innocent to counsel you there is a requisite level of failure you must carry as a badge to balance your understanding in counseling people believe me anybody who comes to you with 100 over 100 is still a child in the school of success there, there is a requisite scar that gives you a balanced perspective have you failed enough to be able to talk to me don't tell me all the stories i just prayed and the person was healed i just spoke and they gave me an auditorium you are not the person to counsel me i respect you carry your results until you learn the other side of life my goodness there are people that have failed enough and they can talk to you when they talk to you they utter from their pain their pain has been turned to wisdom every sentence is a life lesson a woman who tells you i have been barren for 10 years now god been barren for 10 years now god gave me three sets of twins forget the twins and learn wisdom don't just respect crowns respect scars the wise respect both scars and crowns can i encourage someone your failure is still an asset don't throw it archive it it will be one of the qualifiers for your speaking to people tomorrow Apostle, I have cried. I have failed in life. I know what it means to be an irresponsible father. Don't throw that experience. Archive it. One day you will use from that wisdom and mentor an arrogant young man who thinks life is so easy. Most times when we are starting out in life, because of the leverage of prayer, the prophetic, or generally life just playing games with you you can believe life is so easy and you are wondering so why are people crying like this i just got married and three months has been so rosy.